of your results come from 20% of your actions. Is it applicable to language learning? As with everything else, yes. So how do we apply it? So you learn the 20% of words that are the most important. And with that, you understand 80% of the language, right? Wrong. Let's be honest. We've all tried it. Uh, study a list of the 100, 500, maybe even a thousand most common words in a language, and you'll understand 80% or 90% or whatever percentage it is of the language. It doesn't work like that in real life. Words don't exist in a vacuum. We need context to understand them. You know, the little secret about the most common words in a language is that they're most common because they're common. So that means if you are exposed to the language, they're common, so they will keep showing up, so you will learn them. So the best way to learn them is more exposure to the language. So again, once again, we go back to reading and listening. I know I sound like a broken record, but that's the way to learn. So how do we apply the 80-20 rule in language learning then? Well, mostly by using content that's interesting and or relevant to you. If you've never gone fishing and you don't want to go fishing and they're giving you an article about fishing in language school, you're just wasting your time and your brain capacity. You don't want to learn that vocab. It's useless. You will never use it. I like cooking, but I remember when I was learning long lists, lists of uh, kitchen utensils and food and that kind of stuff in the uh, VHS, in the Volkshochschule, in Russian class in Berlin. I probably shouldn't bad mouth them, but yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's like the public school system. Uh, it was completely useless. Not because I don't like cooking. I, I like cooking, but what's the point of me learning long lists of, you know, watermelon and pineapple and different desserts, and spoons and forks and all that? When am I going to use them in conversation? Probably, unless I live with the Russians, or I go to a Russian restaurant. But then again, in a Russian restaurant, the, you know, the cutlery will already be there. So what's the point? I should be learning words that I will use. Either because I'm breathing or listening to something that's interesting for me and I want to know that. Or it's stuff that I will use at work or with friends or traveling, but things that are relevant to me. So as a conclusion, yes, the 80 20 rule works. Yes, if you want to learn the 500 most common words in Spanish or Russian or German, Go ahead, uh, study them by heart, one by one. Personally, I recommend breathing instead of that. And you're more, much more likely to remember all those words uh, after a while. That's all. Uh, thanks for watching as always. If you liked it, give it a like, share, subscribe. And uh, see you next time.